Hey YouTube, two one five Raider Nation. Um, I got a package today from my boy Tommy four one three three nine. Um, he sent me his package. Just came today in the mail. So without further ado, let's show you what he sent me. Um, the first, I thought I had this DVD, which I don't. I have another Stone Cold Steve Austin DVD. And I thought this was the one, but this is actually something I didn't even see before, which I'm going to check it out after this video. Nice DVD. It's a three-disc collector's edition of the Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very nice. Thanks a lot. You know, he threw this in the package for me. You know how a Stone Cold fan I am. And uh, he sent me this package as well. I mean, this video DVD. And it's really awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. I didn't watch it yet, but I can only imagine it's a good DVD. So, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. He also sent me um, a comic book of um, the Kevin Nash preview comic book. Um, I guess Kevin Nash is starting, I guess he's an artist or something, and he made comic books. Speaking of comic books, bro, I'm so sorry, but I forgot to send you the comic books in the package. Um, the comic books I was going to give you, which I don't really collect comic books, but this is like an exception. Um, but I was going to send some comic books that I got from my little figures, and I forgot to put it in a box. And I just realized that today, actually looking at this Kevin Nash comic book, but well, next time we trade, I'm definitely going to remind, remind myself to send the comic books as well. But yeah, this comic book's pretty nice. I try to open it a little bit. You know, check it out. So it's really cool. He sent me this coloring book. <laughs> you know, start my little wrestling collection. Uh, I got me a WCW classic coloring book. Pretty neat. Send me a few of these cards. Um, nice Sheamus holograph card. Um, got Dixie Carter. Got a couple other like superhero cards. It's really cool. I'm really digging the package. A lot of cool stuff he sent me. Uh, I also sent him some cool stuff as well. I don't know is is um mine's as cool as what he sent me, which I really this was one of the figures I really wanted and I liked it. This is um uh, Moses figure. I'm a um I'm a Christian, you know, and I you know I read the Bible and a lot and stuff. And um, I saw he got this figure. I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat, deep. I like that. Um, Say so he found it at the store in this area. I'm, I really liked it and uh, willing to give it to me for a figure. I really appreciate it. It comes with a lot of cool accessories. It came with the, the burning bush, and, uh, snake, and a stone with the Ten Commandments on it, and stick. And it got great uh, articulation in the figure. Um, it's kind of amazing, like, uh, I don't know, Hasbro made this or what, I forgot, I mean, he told me which, um, company that makes these figures, but, um, uh, it's really nice and detailed, it's a really cool figure, I like it a lot, it's one of my favorite figures that he sent me in this, um, package, actually, this could be my main event figure, <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna say the main event figure for last, so, next figure he sent me, some other freebies he gave me, uh, my second LJN. I had a bunch of these when I was growing up. Um, I lost a lot of them. I still got a hillbilly gym at my house. But for right now, this is the main LJN figure I got. And this is an Andre the Giant. Really nice. You know, I saw a lot of people LJN figures and they be all horrible and crappy looking. Except a little bit of spots on these. this figure. This figure is in great shape. No paint rubs or nothing. Really nice shape in this figure. Pretty cool. Andre the Giant. I, don't, I like it a lot. I remember I had this figure when I was growing up. This is uh, Ravishing Rick Root. I had this figure when I was growing up. and um, Pretty cool. I remember having this. The Bruce Barber Beefcake. And the Jake the Snake. I think I got the Jake the Snake at my old house. Um, I think I lost the this one 
and the Brutus. But um, really nice figure. It these figures bring back a lot of memories of my like my childhood and how figures used to be, and the articulation and the detail in it. You know, figure you know wrestling figures and stuff. They came a long way from. This was like the main you know back in the day. These was like the figures to collect. And it really bring back a lot of memories. He also throw in this uh, Captain Lou. Very nice detail. Um, Captain Lou. It's great to you know have us you know keep him like like this. Pretty cool. I wasn't never big big fan of Captain Lou. I knew of him a little bit, but um, the detail in this figure is pretty amazing. Really nice. Mm -hmm. And the last figure he threw in for free. This Hulk Hogan with the boa. It's pretty nice. This is the Hulk Hogan when we first traded. He came that with the rock he gave me in our first trade. And he threw it in. I really like the bow a lot. The bow is pretty neat. Yeah, everyone's always following. Hold on a second. Nice Hogan. That's just a uh, fur from the bow. There's no mark on there. Um, his arms, I put some super glue on his arm. Wrist. It was kind of loose. Um, really nice Hogan. I really like the pants a lot. It reminds me of the uh, N NWO Hogan pants with the face on his boots. They say Halloween in the back, but it's really nice. You know, messing with Tommy, it keeps falling. But messing with Tommy, I'm starting to get a lot of Hulk Hogan figures. He's a huge fan of Hulk Hogan, and he traded me a lot of Hulk Hogan figures, which I'm surprised because I know that's his man. But he got a lot more left, and I just gave him another Hogan. And my next package video, you might see when he makes. Um, but I got like pretty much a lot of Hogan's now. <laughs> um, I got like the three pack he gave me and I bought the TNA and the old other TNA figure I had. So I got like pretty much like six Hogan's figures. <laughs> pretty neat. Next figure I've been looking for and he found for me at his Walmart. I very much appreciate it. I love this figure. It's a nice detailed figure of David Hart Smith. They came in the new series. Very hard to find. Mostly, you know, Walmart was only selling these figures. I never saw no other store. I saw this, um, sell this package of this Elite. I got the Tyson kid from, um, Walmart. And I was looking for a Dave Hart Smith. I couldn't find it. And he lucky so found it at the Walmart. And he called me, like, a couple times. And I missed his call. And I finally got it. He told me. It was like, I was so happy when he told me he found Dave Hart Smith. So, I thank you so much. This is an awesome figure. It comes with this Hart Dynasty shirt. Great detail on the boots and the knee pads and his pants. Well, not his pants, his trunks. Really nice figure. I like it a lot. Thank you again. Really, oh man, it's a great figure. He offered me to give me an attire, which I, don't, I really don't have the mean divas. I'm not really interested in collecting divas, but it had been great if they all stay together. I might have to ask him to get that if they were still together, but since they're not, said no, that's cool. So, awesome figure. And the main event figure is the coolest figure uh, he told me about a while ago, and it comes with this cool stand. It's very rare. It's this X Pac NWO figure. Awesome stand. Awesome figure. Um, I pretty much now have the main people of the NWO as figures. I had him as a 1, 2, 3 kid. Now I got him as X Pac and the NWO. And came with this awesome stand. And it's very rare. Only a thousand are ever made. And I haven't seen anyone with this uh, X Pac. If you do have it, let me know. But um, this is an awesome figure. I appreciate the whole package you sent me. Thank you so much. I can't wait for you to get your package. She'll be coming tomorrow. But 2 on Fire Nation saying thank you for watching. Please subscribe and God bless.